This is the Uptick Network Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Penny stock news and interviews from the microcap world. Public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world. With your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a very special uh, guest with us. He is uh, Edward Minima. He is the CEO and president of Avatar Ventures, trading under the ticker symbol A-T-A-R. Edward, welcome and thank you for coming uh, on the show. Thank you uh, for the opportunity. Hey, give me a little bit of background of yourself and a little bit of background uh, of the Avatar uh, Corporation. Uh, Myself, I was uh, ran my own private companies in the heating and air conditioning industry for many years. And uh, I had to get out of that industry because of health reasons. Uh, Then I became president of a company in around 2010 and did a merger. And then in September 2013, I was offered uh, the position of uh, CEO of Avatar. Wow. So that's basically how you came associated with Avatar? Uh, yeah, we had the general intention of uh, putting in a fantasy sports company, but there were uh, certain criteria that had to be met, and they couldn't be met at that time. So uh, then we, uh, you know, we needed audited statements and stuff like that, and you're only as good as your previous management and the paperwork they have. So uh, that sort of fell through. So we deregistered and. Uh, now our current information, and uh, I think we're sitting in a pretty good position on that respect. You know, I wanted to talk to you uh, today about one special product you guys have, and to my understanding is that you're the only company that actually does this, and that's uh, basically the heat transfer of uh, the heat pressing virtual photograph quality image onto a T-shirt. Could you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, with this paper from this gentleman I met in the business center that I rent a unit on. Uh, He's developing a different uh, type of uh, heat press application with a polymer coating. And I've been helping him and I've been testing our own products. And uh, basically what you can do is send me an image via email. Uh, The better resolution, the better. Right, right. Then then we uh then I press it a specific way onto a shirt, and uh you get a virtually photographic quality uh print on a shirt you won't it's all continuous tone you won't see no pixelation or uh, dots as you will with other processes and how are you guys marketing these products uh and and some of the other uh proprietary stuff that you guys do with uh heat coloring and, and so forth well currently we're our focus was going to be doing a small setup in the caribbean right and uh you know because of tourism and the warm weather and 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 uh, and the like and that's still one of our focuses uh i just received uh a request for some samples from a, a couple firms. They went out last week, and uh, they're interested in doing something in the states, um, which could, uh, you know, be quite beneficial. So, so we'll be, you know, hopefully looking to do something with uh, one of those outfits. These applications that 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 you have, Edward, do you have any patents on them? Utility patents? Uh, the thing I find about patents, uh, you know, one thing is they're costly, and second is you're basically giving away information of what you're doing. Right. Uh, for the uh, product where you can paint on a shirt and then wipe it off and then repaint, I developed the paint myself, and you know, only I know the formulation of that paint, and. Uh, in the respect to the markers, there are they are readily available markers that can be marked on the shirt and wiped off. But it's a 
specific specific uh, process and a specific coding that I do to uh, obtain that, and only I know where to source them out at this time. I see. Right? Hey, take us through the process of how you're going to monetize your business over there. Uh, I, I don't think you guys are generating any revenues. I could be wrong, but what I saw that there wasn't any revenues. When do you think you will be creating revenues, and what's the uh, the roadmap to get there? Well, with every startup, uh, you know, funding is always an issue. Um, to get to the company to where we are, you know, we've used our own funds. Um, it's not a cost cost intensive industry. Uh, hopefully, with the uh, you know company that we may be talking to in the U.S., um, you know maybe we can get some funding through them. Um, we have uh, you know enough equip equipment and product to take to uh, the Caribbean uh, to start. And uh, but at this time, we're you know I think we're going to wait a little bit to see what happens with this uh, this firm in the states. Right. right. I'm saying the States because I'm in Canada. Right, so. right. <laughs> right. Can, can you tell us anything else that you guys might have in the pipeline for future products? Um, those are the three basic products, but you can do a number of different things with those products. Uh, you can do high-end T-shirts for musicians and uh actresses and actors and you know where they can sign on them and people can have a uh, an actual real keepsake um, same for families for keepsakes um, developing another product to do with uh, you know painters I mean you can you can paint a shirt and do an original painting and then take a photograph of that painting and then you know do a numbered uh, limited edition t-shirts right. with the photographic quality print on them. So people can wear what you're doing, not just hang it on their wall. Exactly. Your website, right. your website is www.avatarcorp.com. Uh, no, I, Avatar V Corp. That's A-V-A-T-A-R-V Corp.com. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. My guest today is uh, Edward Minna. He is the uh, CEO and president of Avatar Ventures. They trade under the ticker symbol ATAR. In closing here, Edward, is there anything that you would like to get out to my listeners that you and I didn't get a chance to talk about? Um, no, I just thought, I, you know, I think we'll get there. And I think, you know, something, you know, pretty major could be in the pipeline and, you know, we're not only we only did this for to do something with the company instead of leaving it dormant and it came out to be a pretty good product that we think will be successful I, I we're still sure. open we're still open to other ventures acquisitions or mergers or or the like but yes. we didn't want to sit around and just wait for something so I figured you know what let's create something we found this nice process and I think it'll be quite successful. Absolutely. Our guest today is Avatar Ventures Corp. They trade under the ticker symbol ATAR. Uh, they trade at eight tenths of a cent. Their market cap's around 1.2 million. Edward, thank you very much for coming on the show. We're going to check back with you in a couple of months to see how everything's going with you and your company. Okay. And I appreciate it and appreciate the uptick for this opportunity. Thank you.